who do you think can break that record of yours? Uh, well, I had a chat with him. So it's, you know, after the game, after the game, I met him on the golf course, and he said it's not up to him. It's a it's a team decision, and he would love to have had the opportunity to go for it. Um, in hindsight, with Australia winning with a day to spare, uh, with me being an athlete, it would have been lovely. Um, maybe to even have the opportunity to walk out on the field, but he did look destined to do it. Um, uh, I suppose their decision was vindicated by the fact that they got six wickets on the same evening they declared. Um, there's a possibility of rain, so it's all, for me, it's all the destiny. It's not something that you know you could sort of plan to go and do. And um, it's not his up. It was not his opportunity this time. But I feel to answer the second part of your question, players like. David Warner, and in the past, uh, Chris Gale with two triple centuries, Sawag, Inzimamal Park, Jai Surya, um, look at the guy who broke my record, uh, Matthew Hayden, attacking <coughs> players are the ones who are going to be best suited to, to, to break a record. I think uh, a guy like Virat Kohli, with the way he scores, um, Rohit Sharma, also a, a player on his day, or day and a half, you know, could definitely... Um, <laughs> To definitely uh, break the record. I believe it will be uh, at some point, um, and hopefully I'm around to, to see because it's. It, I don't think records are made to be kept, They're made to be broken. And the game has to keep improving. The game has to always remain exciting. And uh, sitting down as a 50 year old with two world, two world records is not. It's not that exciting. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. yep. Brian, I, I just want to know about your thoughts. The things you have to um, you have to understand. You have one of the best sides in the world, so everybody is sort of lining you up at some point in time. You know, it's like a fate accompli. India is going to make the semi-finals, or they're going to definitely make the knockout stages. I think the last time you didn't make it was in 2007 in the Caribbean, but um, you are going to make it. So everybody is sort of gearing up to that match. If it's a quarter-final match, if it's a semi-final match. You look at the way how they played against India, you know, they knew who to target, they knew what to do. So India have to appreciate that and the invincibility of the West Indies in 75 and 79 and Australia for about three or four World Cups. You saw that they tick all the boxes. They were so dominant. You know, the Australians were so dominant. We knew that in 99 that they were the strongest team, in 2003 they were the strongest team, in 2007. But they made sure they took all the boxes and stayed a step ahead of every single team to win it. Everybody knew that they had to beat Australia to win the World Cup. India needs to appreciate that and know when to turn it on at the right time. And um, you felt that there is always that opportunity to beat India if a Kohli don't score and so if a Rohit Sharma. That was always the sort of the weak link. You felt that you get these two guys and you enter them. And uh, if they sort of solidify that and, and, and get all 11 players uh, moving in one direction and understanding their roles at every single stage, I think India can win many, many World Cups. And it's only a one match disappointment for India. I promise you that it happened in England. Uh, it will, may happen again. It happened before. Is that one match disappointment where you don't play at your best at that knockout stage?